Hi guys, so this is part two to the subscriber question I had and I don't in the other video you notice I, I said there's gonna be a part two coming up because I just realized I didn't mention something and I thought Woo knew it So I had to do another part two to kind of put this in because this is very important and you know this is something that I feel even God has taught me that you gotta watch what you watch and read. You gotta make sure that because you see the reason why we have some thoughts and mindsets and all that stuff is because it's been planted there somehow, somewhere, through people, through TV, through magazines, through all the dis different things. You hear, for instance, in, when it comes to today's world, society, when it comes to relationships, I'm not going to lie, the first thing they talk about is, they talk about relationships in this way. You meet someone, you sleep with them, and then afterwards you decide if you want to get married. And that's not how God goes with those things. But that's how society is doing relationships these days and you see it you watch it after a while you start developing this mindset and this concept of things and let's say you're always watching where people are always cheating on each other all of a sudden you start thinking man people man gonna cheat man man gonna cheat women gonna cheat too everybody just cheating you start thinking all these thoughts and you start realize where did i get all these thoughts from it, you got there by what people have said what you watched and what you read I remember when I was younger, there are some thoughts I had that God had to say, okay, see those books you're reading? You need to stop reading those books, okay? Uh, those shows, stop watching those shows. Because they all have a perspective that they are bringing to everybody who's watching them. So you got to watch what you're reading and what, you, what you're watching, okay? That's why the dominant thing that should be in your mind should be the word of God and how's that going to be the dominant thing if most of the things you're watching and reading is not even in line with God's word if most of the stuff that you will spend most of your time watching and reading stuff that is not in line with God's word when in a situation there's going to be one thought that tries to dominate the other okay you want to make sure that the word of God is what dominates anything else that comes up in your mind I think it's very interesting because as I've just been spending more time with God and meditating on the Word of God, I realize I'll come to, I'll get to situations, and the first thing that comes to my mind is, let's say I'm, fr I mean, I think recently there was something that was frustrating me, but you know the funny thing, the thing is, I couldn't think negative thoughts, I couldn't for the life of me, even when those negative thoughts came, the Word of God immediately came and just kind of shh, did taekwondo on those thoughts, and it was gone, <laughs> and because I realized I've been spending so much time on God with those you know about it about those verses and all those things so when I needed those verses they came up really fast okay it wasn't those negative thoughts that were raining because the, the dominant thing in my mind was those verses <laughs> okay so you gotta watch what you're watching and what you're reading okay don't just easily put things in your mind and your perspective and all that stuff by what you watch what you read okay that's another part of this advice. Anyone have any other thing I want to add? I'll do a part three, okay? And a part four, and a part four. <laughs> All right, people. I hope you have a good day, a frank day. And, yeah. Don't forget Frank Wednesday. Right, bye, bye.